Welcome to Morning Message for June the 10th. Well, as I'm recording this today on June the 10th, it's a little after 6 a.m. And behind me, there's supposed to be, and in fact there is, a partial solar eclipse happening. Uh, at least that's the effect that uh, Charlottetown will see today. It's a little bit cloudy uh, in uh, the eastern part of the sky. And uh, it was a very calm morning about 15 minutes ago, uh, but the wind has certainly come up. The, the reason I wanted to kind of have that behind me, I was hoping we could actually more or less see it and I could give a warning about, you know, wearing sunglasses or something as you're watching this video. I know that those effects of the sunlight can't be uh, received uh, through, uh, um, uh, through this camera, even though, you know, you might be watching on one of those high definition machines or something like that. Uh, anyway, I was, hoping to give, I was hoping to give that kind of... Uh, uh, warning uh, for today. But anyway, there is a solar eclipse uh, happening. Um, <clears throat> it's already started. Probably in about 15 minutes uh, it'll be uh, at its peak or uh, the darkest point or whatever, however you refer to that. Um, so I just wanted to reflect on, on these kinds of things just, just really quickly today because I love hearing about things like solar eclipse uh, or anything like that that happens uh, uh, in the universe. I, I love to hear about rovers landing on Mars or, or whatever it is, those kind of phenomenon. Uh, even some science fiction or science fantasy, I guess is a better terminology for things like, you know, Star Trek. Uh, Gene uh, Rodenberry, I ran into a Trekkie one time who insisted that uh, Gene Rodenberry pronounced his name Rodenberry, not Roddenberry. I have no idea. I don't really care. Uh, but, um, but you know, uh, he had to rely on things like uh, warp speed uh, in order to create an idea that uh, human beings could travel around the universe uh, really quickly. Uh, so there are lots of challenges. Uh, when we think about the universe, uh, the one of the Eucharistic prayers we have uh, speaks of the vast expanse of interstellar space. I love those kinds of ideas, uh, uh, that kind of realization that allows us to uh, um, get some sense of just how huge, just how vast the universe is. It's phenomenal. It really is big. I mean, hugely big so that if you were somehow able to step outside of it and look at all of it I mean just a little speck would be our solar system and just a little speck inside of that um, is uh, Earth and just a little speck inside of that is me I am we are so small inside of this huge, this vast interstellar space, this creation that God made. And yet the joy and the wonder of it all is that still, as vast, as big, as huge as all of it is, what I do matters to God. What each and every one of us does matters to God. God cares about us. God loves us. That's the fantastic message of uh, the uh, Christian proclamation, of the Judeo-Christian proclamation of, uh, of what we proclaim, that God loves us. God cares about us. As vast, as big as the universe is, God cares about us. God loves us. That's the good news. And that's the takeaway from today when we kind of experience the darkening of the skies and we realize just how big, how awesome the universe is that still 
God loves you. Amen.